Never Stop Learning, week 290. We're gonna take a quick look at how to change the default font size in Adobe Illustrator CC 2017. All right, so this actually comes out of my comment section in my YouTube channel. Big shout out to CT Scaper. He writes, here's a question I'd love to find the answer to. How do you change the default font size in Illustrator? When creating landscape designs, I want one font scale to a quarter of an inch for most of my work. It's so frustrating to get that super tiny text every time I use a type tool. All right, this is great because I never really thought to do this. I got to learn how to do it and now I'm gonna share my findings with you guys. So there's gonna be a couple steps involved. First, what we have to do is create a character style. Once we have that set up, then we have to create a new document profile. Once we have those two things established, we could use that new document profile for all of our future projects. So let's get started. I'm gonna be working on a Mac. If you guys are working on a PC, you could definitely follow along. There's only gonna be one slight difference and we'll talk about that later. All right, so first thing you wanna do is create a new document, which is gonna be the basis for our new document profile. All right, so I'm gonna hit Command in on my keyboard, Control in on a PC, and that's gonna bring up the new document window. If yours looks like this, that means you're in the Creative Cloud, and this is actually a new feature for the Creative Cloud users. All right, over here, I'm gonna click on Print at the top. This is a profile that's gonna make a couple changes for me. If I click on View All Presets, I could use these guys as starting points for my new profile. All right, so I'm gonna make some changes over here on the right. I'm gonna name my new profile NSL Scaper. All right, and then down over here, instead of points, I wanna work with inches. And I'm not really sure what would be a good document size for my landscape design. Uh, so I'm just gonna go with 36 inches. And for the height, I'm gonna go with 24. I'm sure that's probably way off, but uh, I'm just taking a guess there. All right, now make additional changes over here if you need to. You can set up your bleed and all that. My color mode is great. It's set to CMYK and that's what I wanted. It's already set up to CMYK because I started off with the print profile. All right, now that I'm ready, I'm gonna hit create. And now I have this new document. Now if I hit the T key on my keyboard, that's gonna activate the type tool. I'm gonna click once on my document and now we can see our friend's frustration here. The text is so tiny, we can't see what's going on. All right, so let me get rid of that and let's see how we could help. All right, let's create a new character style. Over here at the top in the window menu, click on that once, scroll down, and then you're gonna find type. In this section, you're gonna find the character styles. Clicking on that once, it's gonna bring up your character styles panel. Now here we already have one set up normal character style. This is your default font style. So that means your font size, your kerning, tracking, font family, all that stuff. To make changes to it, you wanna double click on the existing one. And in here, currently it's set to general, which is gonna give you a list of what your settings are. It shows we have it set to Myriad Pro, font style is regular, font size 12 point, and you can read the rest all along here. Now to make changes to this, you wanna come back over here to the left, click on basic character formats. Now you can start making some changes. All right, over here for size, instead of 12 points, I'm gonna go with 0.25. Now for inches, I'm gonna go IN and then tab over. All right, so that's equal to 18 points. I'm gonna go with something a lot bigger. I'm gonna go with 160 points. And then over here for the font family, I'm gonna choose yard sale. All right, so I want it to be vastly different from the regular default settings you're used to seeing. All right, again, make whatever changes you want to in here, but I'm good to go, so I'm gonna click OK on the bottom right. All right, looks like nothing's changed, but let's bring up the type tool, click on the document. Now we have this large text. So this is our normal character style for this particular document. We haven't made changes to future documents just yet. All right, so how do we do that? We have to create a new document profile. All right, now in order to create a new document profile, all you have to do is save this document in a very specific place. That place is gonna be different for Mac users and Windows users, but the way to find the location is exactly the same. So just follow along with me. 
All right, first what we have to do is pretend we're gonna create a new document. So I'm gonna hit Command N on my keyboard. Now over here on the bottom right, see where it says more settings? I'm gonna click on that, and that's gonna bring up this window. Now if you're not using the Creative Cloud, you probably already at this window. All right, now, over here where it says profile, click on the drop down menu, ignore these profiles, but down at the bottom, you actually could browse for profiles. Clicking on that is gonna show you the folder destination that we need. All right, now, over here at the top, I'm gonna to switch over just once so I could see that folder that I wanna access. It's this guy here called New Document Profiles. Now, to find it can be tricky because check this out. You have to go through all these folders to find it, and on your machine, it's probably gonna be different than mine. But the good thing is that if we use this method, we could find the same location right away. All right, so here it is, new document profiles. I wanna create a shortcut to this so I can get here really easily every single time. All right, now what you do is you click and drag, bring it over here to the sidebar, and now it's one of my favorites, so I'd be able to find this really easily. What we do next is just back out of here. All right, so I'm gonna hit cancel, cancel again, close this guy out, and now we're back to our document. The only reason we did that was just to find the correct folder. All right, great. So now, let's save this guy off. I'm gonna hit Command S, Control S on a PC. Now it's already showing me the new document profiles folder that I need, but let's pretend we ended up at the desktop or some other destination. Don't worry about it because we already created the shortcut over here on the left. Click on that shortcut, it's gonna take you to the exact folder you need to be at. All right, this is your last chance to give your uh, profile a specific name. I actually like mine, so I'm gonna keep it. And I'm gonna hit save. All right, make whatever changes you need to in here. I'm gonna leave it as is, click okay. There it is. So now we created this new profile. So how do we use it? All right, first thing you wanna do is hit command N to bring up your new document window. All right, over here at the top, click on print because we started off as a print profile. And then if you click on view all presets, notice we have our new preset over here, NSL Scaper. But don't use it, there's actually a bug. Sorry guys, if you look right here, the size of it is incorrect. Over here on the right, it shows that the width is set to 227 inches and the height is set to 227 inches. Now, uh, my buddy Carlos has notified Adobe about this bug and they're working on it. So hopefully they'll take care of this in the next uh, version of Illustrator. Now what we have to do currently is come over here to the bottom right where it says more settings. Click on that, that's gonna bring up the more settings window. Over here where it says profile, click on the drop down menu, and now you have access to your new profile, NSL Scaper. Clicking on that, we have the correct size for our document. I'm gonna click create document. All right, so let's see if this worked. I'm gonna hit the T key on my keyboard, click on my document, and there you go, I got my nice big text just as expected. All right, now I'm sure that bug might have thrown you off a little bit, so let me just walk through the process of creating a new document using our new profile while we ignore the bug, all right? So I'm gonna hit Command N to create a new document like we normally do. All right, over here on the bottom right where it says More Settings, click on that. And then over here in the Profile drop-down menu, you'll be able to find that new profile that we just created create new document. All right, and now I got my font size set up exactly how I want it. So hopefully that helps you guys out. Thank you so much for watching. And there you have it folks, that's a quick look at how to change the default font size in Adobe Illustrator CC 2017.